I worked on this project almost 11 hours continuously. Well, almost continuously, which is insane. It took way longer than expected, but phase one is now done. Initiating. Welcome back to my daily grind. Create yourself is what you'll find me doing every day and every night. No time to lose. One day, one step in the right direction. I'm Chris and I'm only here to show you if I can do it, you can do it too. Welcome back to the vlog. It is Thursday, another day, another chance to push hard. And the topic for this vlog is the first part, well, not really, but like soldering a lot of batteries for my DIY power pack. So let's get it. By the way, all the DIY projects right here, watch them all. But before we get started, of course, out to all my subscribers, thank you for making my life special and worth living to the max. So let me try to give back with a sweet, sweet video. So if you're wondering what's that on my face, check out my last vlog because in this vlog I reviewed it. It's my new face mask and as I said combined with my DIY solder uh, with my DIY air exchange unit fume extractor that's what it is my health is safe so now I'm ready for lots and lots of soldering and before I get to it let me explain what I'm going to do so this is one pack with the cables and the connector and this is one battery and if you want to know more about these batteries and check out this vlog right here, I explained where I got them from. If you're interested in my batteries, there is a vlog about it. And also, as you can see, they come with these soldering flaps with these little wings, but they are protected by a heat shrink tube. So first of all, I have to remove 150 heat shrink tubes. No, actually 300. That's crazy. Then. I will of course bend these flaps to the right position. Then I'm also going to measure every cell because there might be dead ones in here. I'm already sitting on these for half a year, but let's hope for the best. And then I will prepare these wires. After that, solder it to these, then cables and then the friggin connectors. It's gonna be a lot of work actually, so let's get right to it. Oh yeah, taping them together is... I forgot about this step. Just with a bit of tape fixing them together, so... I forgot about that, I need tape. Anyways, let's get started, let's do this. And I will, of course, also use my fume extractor. And if you're interested in this version 3, check it out right here. So, short pause midway through, this camera sadly died. I finished all these packs, wrapped them, then I also soldered them by now i also prepared all the all the plugs and i also prepared a few wires 14 american wire gauge right here so next up we'll be putting these together then wire bending i hope the time lapse will work now so let's keep on going I am done. Workshop is a mess. That was to be expected. It is 44 minutes past midnight. That means I worked on this project almost 11 hours continuously. Well, almost continuously, which is insane. It took way longer than expected, but phase one is now done. It is so heavy. It is unbelievable. It is really heavy. So it is now filled and the next step will be to create all seven of these things right here. Little connectors. This will be the next vlog, by the way. You can check it out right here. Now they are 5P and 21 packs. Then I will have 5P times 3, which is 15P basically. And the last step will be this to connect them all. And this will be phase 3. But yeah, that's it so far. I need to hit the sack. I'm so done. My bag is killing me, but good progress. By the way, a little add-on, this face mask right here. It is pretty amazing, especially for the price. But after a few hours, it really started to hurt my nose right here. It is, and now it's hurting really bad. So I think for two to three hours, you should be safe. But after that, it's becoming a real pain. It's, it's not fun to wear this for hours, that's for sure. But anyways, it's freaking amazing. I still like the looks of it and yeah. Smash the like button the way my back is amazingly smashed. Bang the bell like crap pa, to never miss the DIY projects and check the recent news on chrisviral.com and yeah that's it for today. I will see you tomorrow. <laughs>